Howdy, Internet. As we all know, dolphins are pretty intelligent creatures. Solving puzzles, advanced communication, filing taxes, they do it all. But what you probably didn't know is that these underwater creatures actually took direct part in the Cold War. That's right, the friendly neighborhood dolphin that you applied at SeaWorld was actually in the top secret Black Ops underwater operations. These dolphins were a part of the Navy's Marine Mammal Program, which was created in 1960. The program had two main objectives. First, it was to study the underwater sonar capabilities of the dolphins for more effective ways to detect underwater objects, and the other was to improve the speed of their boats and submarines. Another component of the research was to train dolphins to perform underwater tasks like delivering equipment, guarding boats and submarines, as well as searching for the lost city of Atlantis. Although more research is being conducted on the last one, our hopes are up that they'll find it. By the way, it's also worth mentioning that dolphins were being trained by the Soviet Union at the same time, so dolphin soldiers aren't such a radical idea. In fact, Ukraine even had their own dolphin training program, which had a pretty bizarre outcome, but more on that later. The U.S. program had over 100 dolphins in which there were five training teams. One team was for swimmer detection, one for object recovery, and the last three were for mine location. In practice, it works like this. When the dolphins find a mine, they quickly return to the trainers who then give the dolphins a flag that's attached to a rope to put next to a mine. If the dolphins are on guard duty, they will approach enemy divers from the back and clamp a device onto the air tank. The device connects to a floating buoy that explodes above water, alerting both the dolphins handlers to both the intruder's presence and location. Which sounds pretty ballistic for a notification, but hey, that's the American way, brother. If you're still not sold on how absolutely badass the dolphins are, take a look at this bad boy right here. Tell me this image alone doesn't strike fear into enemy soldiers. Like me, you're probably wondering how these dolphins can even tell what they're looking for, especially in a vast body of water, and beyond that, tell the difference between a clump of rocks and a literal floating bomb. Well, apparently it has to do with their melons. The melon is a mass of tissue found in the forehead of dolphins and other toothed whales. It acts sort of like a giant ear, picking up many kinds of vibrations, which makes it a key organ involved in echolocation. Apparently, the melon allows these units of war not only to tell that they're swimming towards an armed explosive, but also tell if it's active or not. Anyway, that's not all these war vessels have endured. Apparently, after Russia invaded Ukraine, the dolphins were captured by the Russian soldiers. Ukraine asked for them back, but the Russians were like, Nah, man, these dolphins are way too cool to be hanging with you nerds. And Ukraine couldn't do much to retaliate. Some believe that the Russians plan to retrain the dolphins as soldiers of their own, but four years later, nothing has come from it. During this time, most of the dolphins passed away, which the Ukrainian government believes to be due to a hunger strike the dolphins did as a form of patriotic protest. Which sounds like a funny way of saying the dolphins are way too cool for you too, but I digress. Surprisingly, dolphins have actually been known to display similar loyal characteristics to dogs, swimming up enthusiastically to people that they have met before. Occasionally, captive dolphins have even been known to refuse food when a tank companion dies, and even stop themselves from breathing after separating from humans they have formed a bond with. So maybe these claims aren't so far-fetched. Either way, the dolphins that were in captivity eventually were decommissioned and let free into the wild. And I don't know if you've seen Free Willy, but believe me, it must have been a majestic moment. Anyway, thanks for watching.